Hello Internet, I am the Hero of Julios, once again with another episode of the One Piece Monster Manual. And I just want to say before I start, Merry Christmas to my fellow One Piece fans and my fellow Dungeons and Dragons fans and anyone else who clicked on this video because they saw the word hockey and thought I spelled the sport wrong. <laughs> I just wanted to say that this video, uh, we're going to take a break from doing the normal monsters every day. And I'm going to give a gift, in the spirit of Christmas, to the players who have to fight them. By this I mean I am going to be putting the powers of hockey into different optional feats that players can take. So for those who don't know, Observation Hockey, Armament Hockey, and Conqueror's Hockey are the three different colors of hockey that you can obtain. Armament and Observation are the common types, the types that anyone can learn. And Conqueror's Hockey is a special type that can only be obtained by those who are born with the power innately inside of them. So to start with, Observation Hockey and Armament Hockey have prerequisites based on them themselves. I put a level limit on them as well because they are kind of an advanced thing to add to a campaign. But for Armament, I gave an increase to your abilities, uh, your attack rolls and your armor class if you use, you know, focus on hardening or using it for offense. For observation hockey, it's kind of like a super version of the perception check because hockey, when you use your observation hockey, you're able to sense the world around you and feel the intention of the people that are within a vicinity of you as well as whether they're stronger than you or whether they want to attack you. If you get good enough at it, you can even go as far as to see the future. Although I'm not reflecting that in these feats, as we don't know too much about the advanced version of Armament Hockey as of the recording of this video, and I didn't want to get too hugely into detail for people who aren't that caught up with the series. Now for Conqueror's Hockey, I made the prerequisite a little more difficult. You roll a d100, and if you get a 100, you have the power of Conqueror's Hockey. If you don't, then you'll have to take a different feat because you just weren't born with it. Now, for the, uh, for the DMs watching this video, you can obviously ignore these prerequisites. There are people who are born with Hockey. There are people who gain it through a traumatic experience. So it's not like Hockey is something that everybody just one day wakes up and says, Ooh, I feel like learning how to do this. But I made the prerequisites there just in case someone's doing it for the sake of min-maxing instead of actually trying to fit the flavor of the world you're in. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. This is the Hero of Julios wishing you a Merry Christmas and Xing out.